In this video, we are going to learn how to use arrow keys to control a character. In this case, the character we're going to control is the cow here. First thing we need to go to is the Initialize Event Listeners tab. Now, we need to add an event listener. So we're going to click on Add Event Listener. We're going to go to Keyboard, since we're going to be looking for keyboard keys. And then we're going to say Arrow Key Press Listener, because we're going to be listening for arrow key presses. Okay, now we've got some area here where we can put code in. And this code will relate to arrow key presses. Now we can put as many if statements as we want in here, so we don't need to add a new arrow key press listener for every arrow key. So I'm going to go down here and grab an if. And then I'll just start with true. So if true is true, so this is always going to be true. So we want it not to always be true, but only be true if we're pressing an arrow key. So let's go up to event is key. We're going to grab this and put it over true. And then let's select arrows. Now, while we can do letters and digits, we can't do that inside an arrow key press listener. We can only do arrow keys inside an arrow key press listener. Let's start with up. Okay, so if the key up is true, then it's going to do whatever's in the if statement. And I want my cow to move forward if the arrow key is up. So I'm going to say move, put in the if, forward, I'm going to choose 0.25, and now whenever I press up, the cow is going to move forward 0.25. And again, we could put another if in here, make sure it's not inside the original if, if true. In this case, we're going to say the key is going to be a different key. It's going to be a down key. And down key, instead of moving forward 0.25, we're going to have it move backward 0.25. Again, we can change these. So let's run it and see if it works. Okay, I'm pressing the up key and he's moving forward. Pressing the down key and he's moving backwards. I'm also going to demonstrate how we can use a letter key to do something. So, since we can't use letter keys inside the arrow key press listener, we're going to have to add another keyboard listener called key press listener. Okay. So we've got a key press listener. Now I'm going to drag another if inside here. If true, the key press is going to be, again this time I can do a letter, so I'm going to do a T. If event is key T is true, then I'm going to just have him talk. I'm going to have him say, hello there. And then I'm going to run it. So I press T. It activates the key press listener and he says hello there. So in this lesson we've learned how to use arrow key press listeners and key press listeners. And we've used ifs to recognize specific keys.